So over the years on this channel, I have tried out many different hair dyes because I have a continual issue with my gray hair showing through. My hair is a bit greasy, so perhaps that is disguising the situation I have at the moment. But what I realized is that I haven't actually tried or made a video um, of this product, Nutrice. Um, this is by Garnier, Nutrice Ultra Cream. And um, it does say new, but the Nutrice uh, brand or line has been going for years. I have used it probably about five years ago or something like that, cannot recall. So I'm gonna be basing today's video on using this home hair dye kit from Garnier and it's the Nutrice Ultra Cream. Welcome back to Self Care Karen, lovely to have you here. If you are new to this channel, hey, thank you so much for coming along. Consider subscribing if you enjoy today's video. I've got lots and lots of different um, hair related videos, but also broadly much more beauty reviews on skincare products. That's my kind of real passion. And also um, even broader than that in terms of self care, I have lots of guided meditations and I am actually going deep in a therapy called Emotional Freedom Techniques, which you might know as tapping. And every Monday at the moment, I'm loading up a tap along session for EFT. So that's kind of me in a nutshell. Self Care Karen is all about empowering busy women to feel their best and give their best. And, you know, I have this channel, which is called Self Care Karen. I also have a presence um, on different social media platforms, including Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, uh, TikTok as well, I'm on there. And um, also I have an Etsy shop where I sell lots of different kind of resources and tools to help you feel your best and be able to give your best. So things like meditation scripts, um, EFT scripts. Um, I do custom and pre-written. I do videos as well. And I also do personalized skincare recommendations and also things like uh, journals and planners. Okay, so... Um, with that said, let's get into this video. So I'm going to be reviewing the Nutrice Ultra Cream um, Home Hair Dye Kit from Garnier. Today I've picked the 4.5, 4.5 medium dark brown. Um, I do dye my hair every kind of four to six weeks. Um, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling, type, what the kind of time is look, looking like for me, although I am always in perfect time, of course. But um, yeah, so I I think it's probably been about a month, maybe five weeks since I lasted my um, roots. And I'm going to go in today with this product to um, do those again. This says that it's up to 100% grey coverage. And as I mentioned in the intro, I think I have tried this before, I'm pretty certain, but it's been a, quite a while and I certainly haven't made a video on this um, line before for my channel. I am actually really put off um, this this product by the two faces in the UK that promote it. So um, there's one, one, the dark hair is done by Davina McCall, um, who's kind of like a TV presenter and is now kind of like an advocate for educating people around the menopause. And let me tell you, that is her saving grace. But I just find her, I don't know, there's something about her that great. So I don't, you know, I love the fact that she's educating people about the perimenopause and the menopause, fantastic. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, there's just, I find it, her a bit jarring. And then the other one for the blonde kind of people, um, is Holly Willoughby, who the former presenter of this morning, I've not seen any adverts recently with her. I don't know if the fact that there's been all this kind of, um, scandal related, I don't know if scandal's the right word, but anyway, gossip related to this morning has impacted her deal with Garnier. But anyway, again, I I just have never warmed to her and I find that she's uh, maybe less so now, but she was on this morning, she did the dance, the um, ice skating thing and other stuff. And I just, I don't know, there's something about her that I, I, I don't like, but that's not fair, right? Because again, you know, I've got an audience here, hopefully. And, um, you know, perhaps I don't 
I'm doing stuff that annoys you too and I hope I'm not but anyway okay so without further ado let's unbox this little baby here um it's got a it's got a security seal on it I think I did buy this um actually online so but interesting that their online stock also has the security seal maybe they actually shop in the stores but I doubt that very much okay we have instructions which are um in color and in hopefully paper that has been recycled but i doubt it very much they look fairly straightforward which is fantastic always helpful uh, by the way you should always do a patch test i'm sure that's included in the instructions um as you know i live life on the edge i <laughs> i'm really naughty do as i say don't do as i do okay we have the uh bottle a which is the developer cream and we have the uh four and a half which is the color what they call it color colorant cream okay that's b and also we have got a bottle of silicone free conditioner okay i am loving the fact it is in a bottle um just like with the john frieda um foam one foam precision or something i'll link the video up here uh, to that one um it was a tube and i much prefer that against a sachet because sachets are a right pain to get open um when you are in the shower washing your hair and your hands are wet okay so that is um the conditioner and then there are the gloves okay in addition to this when i am dyeing my hair at home which is where i always do it now save myself a ton of money doing it at home um, I have a butterfly clip just to clip my hair up. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't because it depends how thick the ha their hair dye is, whether or not I need it. And then I have a um, old dressing gown that is full of stains and I just whack that on after I've applied. So I kind of apply topless and then I, um, yeah, put that on. So if any drips happen, they don't happen on my clothes. And then I also have, a, I've actually got it in reach here. I've got one of these kind of hair turban things in a dark color, my favorite color, purple. Um, and I use this um, all the time actually for my hair, but particularly after the first dye, because if sometimes there's still a bit of dye in the hair and you know, you don't want to get your nice towels um, stained. Okay. Um, I just want to say before I get going on the application, reading the instructions, what have you, um, I am a little bit nervous about this because of the fact that it says it's got five oils in it. Oh, it's in the after colour conditioner, avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, argan oil and shea oil. My hair is often extremely greasy at the roots. You can probably see the shine here. This is the uh, day two hair. Um, actually, no, it's day three now. So yesterday I didn't wash my hair. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes, but maybe it'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I will get going. And um, actually, this has got a handy little QR code to scan this code to try on this shade. Oh, maybe I should try that. Also, I want to make sure that I remember to give you the yucca rating. Um, so yeah, I will do those and I will apply and um, I will be back once I've applied. And I just checked, the last time I dyed my hair was six weeks ago. Okay, so I actually dyed my hair quite a while ago now, but I was just checking the footage of the video and I realised that I never showed you the results of using um, the kind of shade tryer on, like try on this shade. So I tried on the shade that I am dyeing my hair to, and here's a picture, and then I thought, okay, I'm going to do blonde as well. And... Yeah, you can see the picture. I'm not going blonde anytime soon. That looks disgusting. Okay, and don't uh, worry, the yucca rating, which kind of shows uh, if there are any kind of harmful ingredients in the product, will be coming on screen towards the end of the video. So I would say if you have any kind of thicker or longer hair than me, you will need more than one bottle because that one bottle was just enough to cover my whole head of hair. Uh, fairly straightforward. It's quite a thick consistency, applies quite easily with the bottle. I will have stainage on my face as usual, but for me, it's really important that I get right down to the root with those little hairs at the front because that's where I have 
a lot of concentration of greys. I'm now going to leave it for 35 minutes, which is the time for stubborn greys for head of hair. And then I shall wash it off. So I've washed it out. The stainage on my face actually is not bad. Um, that seems to have washed off okay. However, I've managed to get dye on a chest of drawers and that is not coming off. I am going to let this settle and uh, then I will report back. Um, so probably tomorrow or the next day. And just to say um, the conditioner was fine. The washing off experience was fine, but the conditioner, you know, didn't smell very didn't smell reminiscent of Vidal Sassoon, um, like I've mentioned in some more recent hair dye videos, and I'll put the hair care playlist up here, I think that's the right way, um, so you can watch my other videos if you are so inclined. Okay, see you soon. So I dyed my hair on Saturday morning, it's now Monday afternoon, so you can see how the colour has taken on my hair. I've kind of put myself into a the blind is down on the window and uh, although it's, it's a very grey day anyway and I've got the light on so hopefully you can see the colour. I am really pleased with the results. I'm really pleased that I got like all my little hairs that are always really <laughs> the grey, stubborn greys around uh, my hairline. I got I managed to dye those and I didn't really stain the face. That kind of washed off. Um, I wish the same could be said for this uh, chest of drawers where I'm filming where actually it's come off pretty well but I managed somehow to get hair dye on white furniture which was not planned it just kind of an accident happened a whoopsie daisy anyway I'm really pleased with the result my hair feels very soft I have got leave-in conditioner in it now that's part of my new hair regime which I will be doing a video on soon so make sure that you subscribe to the channel to get notified when that video goes live but um as for the results of using Garnier Nutrice I am pleased with the results and my hair did feel quite straw like when I washed off the dye but then I put on the conditioner and it was it was fine it was nice and soft yesterday I did not wash my hair but I did get my hair wet because I went swimming and I did underwater swimming trying to swim through <laughs> the legs of my son my five-year-old son which was uh interesting um yeah so it did get wet but I didn't like put any product on it at all yesterday um and today I did wash my hair and as I said I've put in some leave-in conditioner as well so I am pleased with the result. This uh, brand is kind of like on a par with the other big hitters in this hair dye space in terms of price. So I think I got two uh, bottles or two kits for uh, £14 that, and they often have two for one offers on. Um, so yeah, and also just to let you know, I have put an affiliate link into the video description. So if you were going to buy as a result of seeing this video, this video is not sponsored in any way, but um, I have got an affiliate link in there. So if you click on the link and you buy from using my link, I will get a small um, commission if you like. Um, you, the price will be no higher to you. You won't feel kind of any pain from using my affiliate link, but it's a nice way to, to support my channel. And nearly all of my videos where I have an affiliate link for a product I list the products that I've used and I put the links in so if you are looking at any of my other videos I do have lots of videos on hair care on hair dye um, so check those out if you're interested and what I've noticed what I did want to say is that this is from Garnier and Garnier obviously have got the good hair dye as well which I tried out recently I'll put a link to that video here um so they're obviously trying in there and they've got one more I can't remember which which uh one it was but I saw it when I was trying out the different hair colors uh on my hair they are obviously trying to hit different points of the market like different target audiences and also the good hair one scored slightly better on the yucca rating whereas the yucca rating for this one has been my god it's windy out there um has, has i think it was zero out of 100 it was poor, fared really really badly 
Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. As always, it was a pleasure having you with me. Don't forget that I upload a new beauty product related video every Friday and on a Monday at the moment, I'm exploring EFT, emotional freedom techniques. You might know it as tapping. Okay, um, remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.